Behind us is the, the Oklahoma Opry. Talented people from across the Southwest come here to play to a receptive audience. We got some folks here tonight. Well, now listen, folks, from where you are. Want to know just who we are? We're the OK Opry from OKC. We're the OK Opry. Tonight, as we celebrate the musical arts, dive into the rich history of the Oklahoma Opry that was founded in 1977 and has continued serving as a beacon for the Oklahoma music industry for the last 45 years. Being a stepping stone between getting started and really doing something maybe more professional, this place is perfect for that. As you go on and do other things, you actually feel prepared. You encounter musicians and work with them in a way that you're already used to because you were able to do it here at the Oklahoma Opry. This is a place that people truly cherished and it's it's iconic, it really is. He sits down in your chair. It is a home for not just singers and songwriters, but musicians. It's where a lot of people learn to play and get their first experience on stage. But the Opry is the reason why I am the performer I am today. Wish I'd be free. Being young and playing here with an amazing band and amazing singers, it molded me without anybody even trying to. For the very last time, and nobody walks a step behind. You knew when you come here to perform, you had the top-notch people in the, in the state working for you, or at least trying to make you sound good as you can. The passionate team at the Opry have been working hard every day to keep the Opry alive and help bring the community together giving people the opportunity to learn and perform music. Many talented singers and songwriters have emerged from the jumpstart the Opry has provided, including Cody Canada, Katrina Elam, Kylie Morgan, Brian White, and Darcy Lynn. And it's just an experience I'll never forget because it's helped me all the way to now. I envision continuing the mission of being a real foundational support system for music, musicians, and all of the ancillary things that, that accompany that. It's really awesome to see how they light up and, and how much they appreciate it. In 2004, the Oklahoma Opry lost their location in the old Knob Hill Theater and moved to the historic Oklahoma City Stockyards where they were renamed to the Rodeo Opry. And even as the Rodeo Opry, the same team were still working every day to give opportunity after opportunity to new talent and help find their voices in the industry. Recently, they reclaimed the name Oklahoma Opry and continue to showcase their wonderful dedication to the performing arts in the stockyards. We have a temporary home right now and we're looking for the future home. And it's like, I always reminisce on, on for me, what it used to be, because it was, you know, it was, most of my childhood was in this building. I want that for another young kid, because there's nothing like it. If you know that this is your passion and this is your dream, then the Oklahoma Opry is probably one of the best things you can have in your life. The Oklahoma Opry, transforming lives through music.